right guys, shooting a new series today, calling it Creative Communities. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you on a nice drive through a community, starting with a community that you might see and hear me talk about a lot, and that is Tanyard Springs. I'm in Glen Burnie. This community is near and dear to my heart because I used to live here. I lived here for over five years, and I have sold six houses so far this year in this community. I've learned to know it very well, and I want to give you guys a tour. I'm going to turn left here. I'm on Marley Neck Boulevard. <clears throat> now this road connects Fort Smallwood Road and goes all the way down to Marley Station Mall. Now as we come in, this is the main entrance of the community. Uh, they recently put a pass-through road that goes all the way through. Um, but I'm going to start off with, let's go to the, the original section. Um, when they first started building this community, little fact this area used to be owned by the CSX Railroad and uh, they eventually started to sell it all off and to develop it so the area we're entering now commonly referred to as the bird section because all the street names are named after birds so we're making a right onto Mockingbird and I won't go through every single street but I do want to get some highlights here so this was the first section that they, um, they built here and they came in it was around 2008 um, they started building in here and we have two builders we have Ryan Holmes and we have Lenar and as we come around this turn I'm gonna point out on the corner here slow down a little bit kind of a natural uh, reserve you might notice this house on the right that is one that I sold, 7252 Mockingbird Circle. So that home we sold for um, one of the nicest lots, I feel like, one of the original sections here. Um, had a great view off the back, again, that protected area. But this is a, these are all townhomes in this section. There is a mix of townhomes and single families in Chainard Springs. I'm gonna take you on the Heritage Crossing. So Heritage Crossing wraps all the way around. Um, this takes you to the clubhouse. Now this is a big neighborhood. There's about 1,400 homes in this community. You got a mix of single families and townhouses section off to my left we'll get that on the way back out because there's a couple homes that I sold in there this year um, but the, the area of interest up here on the right this is the uh, we'll turn in here so this is the Tanyard Springs Clubhouse and I don't know if you'll be able to see behind there there's actually tennis courts within this building there is a really nice uh, basically a clubhouse that you can rent out also to the right inside there is a 24-hour gym so you can access that any time of the day uh, and then also the pool which now that it's after Labor Day is closed but there's a big in-ground pool there's also a, a children's pool inside there and there's also a pavilion there's basketball court um, lots of stuff everything's right here so I'm gonna try to go kind of slow off to the left there's a big dog park They have a community garden. There's a lot of stuff going on right here. So the community garden has some nice plots you can actually rent out. So if you're into gardening and you want a townhouse that's affordable, don't have enough space to garden, you can rent out some of those plots. And I mean, you can see a lot of these, the single car garage, these are smaller homes. Um, and, and these are really affordable. Actually, right here on the right, you'll actually see my sign. So this home is going to settlement next week so far this year uh, my average days on market is just six days uh, the average for the community uh, for all agents is about 28 uh, average list to uh, sold price ratio is pretty high I believe it's at 99.3 percent uh, my personal is 101.3 so averaging getting just about all of my listings above list price.
I'm gonna turn in now to one of the single family sections, but I'll continue to talk a little bit more. Um, I haven't done too much with the single families in this community. Most of mine have been the townhouses, um, but overall the, uh, the, the value in these homes has consistently been going up uh, when you compare it to last year and previous years. So really a nice uh, bonus when you're, you're purchasing. A lot of military in this area too. So a decent amount of turnover for about 1,400 homes. There is, uh, last year there was 127 homes sold. This year we're at about 97, so we're probably gonna at least hit that mark uh, again, around 130 homes sold for this year. So none of that really existed when we moved in in 2010. Uh, they started building the single family homes around that time. Um, this is a, a section that they were, were also building uh, when we, we came in and we purchased and some more of the, the uh, single car garage townhomes on the right here. On the left it's actually a play field and another playground. So there are several playgrounds within the community, which is another nice feature. This is a really nice one here that we just went by. Uh, unfortunately, that was not developed uh, in the time that we lived here. Uh, we would walk through, but there's, there's miles and miles of walking trails throughout the whole community um, to really help you get around uh, to access the different sections. So um, very, very convenient and also nice if you're you know, going for a run or a bike ride. Uh, plenty, of, plenty of space to do that. Coming up now, I just made a ride on a Stallings Drive. So this is actually the road where we used to live on, uh, 7275 Stallings Drive, which is right here on the left. Um, yep, there she is. So that's where we used to live. Um, right through this passageway here, where you can see, that's actually Solly Road. So Solly Road is technically in Pasadena, so we are right inside the border. The unique thing about that, then being so close to Pasadena, is that the school district is actually divided here into two. So some of the sections of the neighborhood will go to the like the Northeast High School, and some of them will go to Glen Burnie High School. Of course, there's different middle school and elementary schools as well. Um, but it's kind of a unique feature about this community that you might get a house and uh, it's in a different school district than your neighbor. So it's a big community. With a few more single family homes, it's in a cul-de-sac. Uh, and this is also gonna go down to a cul-de-sac um, with some additional single families down this street. This is again Stallings Drive. And up to our left here, there's a little walkway um, that kind of connects a couple of the sections, the original bird section, and then the, uh, the next section that I'm gonna drive to after this. The homes are very traditional. Lots of brick. With the siding, vinyl siding. Some more of natural colors. Aside from the two dog parks, there's also almost 50 uh, dog stations, if you will, scattered along. So it's a very dog friendly community. Uh, lots of the walking trails. So you almost always see people out walking walking their dogs, which is a good sign in the community. You want to see the people out and engaged and that they are. So I'm going to come in here real quick. Um, this is another smaller section split off. So I'm going to go to the right first. These are the two car townhomes, two car garage townhomes. 
and there's one right up here. This is Ingram that we're on. Right here on the right, that car in there. So I just sold that one this year. These are all pretty much the same model. And then the other section is smaller. Smaller one car garages. So there goes the school bus. Just let all the kids off. Usually drops them off here at the entrance of the community. And we're gonna go back. Down Tanger Springs Lane one more time. Uh, I'm gonna take a right onto one of the newer sections, the loft section. Um, so they started building these uh, around 2017. And it's a newer section with, you guessed it, they have lofts. So, most of these townhouses are three stories. The lofts add an additional four story. I don't know if you can see it on this one on the corner here. It's kind of flat there. There's actually a loft, so you can walk up to a fourth floor and have extra living space. Off to the right here, this section, so just sold one here on Tanner No Lane, here to the right. A couple weeks ago that closed. Closed for four hundred and thirty-five thousand. Um, pretty high price tag for a townhouse, if you ask me. Um, but it is. It was really nice. It's really nice. It's it's got over 3,000 square feet of living space. Really kind of luxurious finishes. It had a gourmet dining uh, and kitchen. Um, so a really nice townhouse if you really like the townhouse living. Don't mind steps. Um, they're definitely really nice on the inside. So not every one of these has the loft. Uh, but you can see some of them do. Uh, it definitely adds value. It definitely adds a lot more finished square footage. And off to the right there is, is Sally Elementary School. Um, this is basically the last of the, the houses here in Tainard Springs. Haven't seen too many of these come back on the market for sale because they're all pretty much sold in the last two years. So, I'm gonna head out through Tanner Spring Lane this way. Uh, this was the cutout that was added, so there is through traffic now that can go all the way through from Marley Neck Boulevard to Solly Road. Um, that's Tanyard Springs. Uh, this is James Bowerman, the creative agent. This has been the first episode of Creative Communities. I want to thank you for watching and let me know what you think about it. If you liked it, please leave me a, uh, hit me a like, give me a love, give me some thumbs up. Um, please feel free to share this or leave a comment below if you have any questions about the community uh, or about, you know, if you want to live there, if you want to sell there, I would be happy, more than happy to uh, talk to you and see how I can help you out. Thanks again for watching guys. Take care.